For us, that might feel like a very light intensity walk, but for someone with Down syndrome, that might actually be a higher intensity. People with Down syndrome experience heart rates that can beat up to 30 beats per minute slower than the general population. One team at UNLV is researching how a lower heart rate can make movement more difficult. The CARE Lab is the cardiovascular research and exercise lab here at UNLV. We do research into how exercise affects your body and if everything is physiologically working similarly for populations that have different characteristics. Because we know that heart rate and blood pressure work a little bit differently in individuals with Down syndrome, we're looking to see if those same mechanisms also influence how blood flows to the muscles when you're exercising. So your muscles need oxygen and they need energy to work and to do exercise. And what we're looking for is when you're exercising, if that gets adjusted as effectively in individuals with Down syndrome as it is um, in the general population. To facilitate the research, the CARE Lab is collaborating with physical therapist Dr. Sarah Mann. Dr. Mann's team designed a 12-week exercise program for people with Down syndrome. Over the past 20 years, we've developed the Mann Method Physical Therapy Principles, where we look at the commonalities of how people with Down syndrome are built, looking at the impairments that come along with their anatomy and physiology, common functional limitations, and then their participation restrictions of the community. We developed an exercise approach that we could implement over telehealth that would provide appropriate targeted exercise and movement that fits all of those categories that are very purposeful for our people with Down syndrome. As an example, we know that individuals with Down syndrome have more trouble with balance. So one of the exercises that you saw her do was a diagonal over and under, but it really practiced your balance and your vestibular information, your sensory information, and really helps put that all together in maintaining balance. By comparing the data before and after the 12-week course, Dr. Hillenkamp's team can evaluate changes in cardiovascular health. The collaboration also helps generate feedback for Dr. Mann's remote exercise program. Good, Gabriella. Big reach up to I feel stronger than and ever because I feel more confidence in being in good leadership. My favorite part coming here into uh, the lab and do all that stuff. I feel like different and good about when I doing it. And stop. Great job. <laughs> awesome. The Care Lab plans to finish and release their findings during the Down Syndrome Conference in October. For News 3, I'm Ming Salau. Hannah, let me see it, girl. Up here. Yes, Mac, muscles up.